Appearance of the Year on our show, Executive Director of the Michigan Theater, Steve Tucker. Hi, Steve. Hi, how are you, Bart? <laughs> Thanks for having me on. Happy New Year to you. Uh, it's a beautiful, it's beautiful day today, blue beautiful. sky this morning, and uh, still hanging in there. It seems rather warm and uh, really good. Normally, uh, today, we would be at your theater for the right, Chamber popcorn. Annual, uh, but under construction. Yep. So uh, when I say under construction, it is under construction. <laughs> uh, there's scaffolding everywhere, and I know that uh, Stevens. there, look at that. that uh, that's from the stage, wow. looking out. Oh, my gosh. So it's all the way up to the top. Look at that. All the way uh, underneath the balcony. Um, We've had uh, some big time scientists come in to unearth the colors and they chemically uh, remove the colors year by year, decade by decade in our case, until you find what the original colors were. And uh, her name was Sammy and she is a historical expert of sorts and uh, came through with some really, really interesting uh, clues as to the colors. I called Linda Ferguson and I asked her about it because she was there, you know, in the beginning. But everywhere where you see green in the middle there and the ceiling itself was ochre. Ochre? Ochre, which is like a light yellow gold. Uh, so the theater was, look at that. Are you going to go back to ochre? No. Oh. We, the, the historian suggested that you go to the colors when the theater was most prominent. And these colors were the most prominent ones. The domes were, were white, they're, they're more recently white, the domes themselves, so we are going to bring back some of that ochre in those, mm -hmm. and uh, you know. What about the red? The red is, some of the red's going to stay. What, what was the original? Uh, ochre. All gold. ochre? Yeah. It was ochre, like, ochre, you ochre. You walked in there, it was like gold. So here is the story, the best story that I've been able to put together is that when the color film came out that the theater was so bright that the colors got washed out on the screen. Now, this was before, you know, scre scre uh, projectors were like, mm -hmm. you know, 80,000 lumens. Uh, so it couldn't get that bright. It was an arc projector. It was, you know. Like the 50s. That's when the color uh, films came out. Right. But even early, you know, no, I think in the 40s. 40s, the color films, yeah. yeah. So the colors got washed out and people couldn't see and they thought like, well, we, we've got to go darker in here. Oh. So they did. Um, but now, I mean, theoretically, if, if we so choose, we could go to the, those gold pictures again, gold colors, but no, it would be too much of a shock for people. And Theater's really supposed, they should be, I mean, dark. The, the, right, yeah. Right. So. Uh, what about the carpeting and the... All the, the carpeting, I found the original, uh, well, I shouldn't say the original, but 1940s pattern. It's a really cool swirl with reds and greens and golds. And uh, uh, Christoph made the, uh, copied the original and digitally recreated that. Oh, wow. So uh, they're going to be doing that uh, carpeting throughout. A lot of things we've discovered. I discovered a pay stub from a guy working uh, on plaster in 1930s, and it was the week. It was a week in 1930, and for a 40-hour week, he made thirty dollars. And you have a guy that was working plaster in the 30s when the theater was built. You, he's around? No, he's dead. Oh. But his pay stub was up there. Oh, okay. His envelope. <laughs> uh, his his pay stub envelope was up there, and it was. Uh, you know, it was like cash in an envelope, 30 bucks. <laughs> the money wasn't there. That was the first thing we looked for. <laughs> uh, speaking of the money, we've, we've, uh, we're very, very close um, to being complete. Mm -hmm. So I'm, I'm coming today on bended knee uh, asking for a little bit more money. Like uh, when I say a little bit, I mean like a little bit. Really? Like 10 bucks from each person or five bucks or, you know, whatever you can do. Um, it's I, the community. It's the community's treasure. And uh, I right. think everyone would feel more ownership if right. they threw in some bucks. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. and, and it's not always, you know, with me, it's like being around and having them, having them come in and be a part of the theater, uh, volunteering. Uh, we're, re we're rebuilding our membership uh, drive our membership 
people, our group, there's, we've really increased that and we have a certain number of goal to, for people to become a members. And we're opening up our membership benefits again this year, Bart. You know we had those singer-songwriter events where mm -hmm. we had all the great singer-songwriters from uh, Michigan and surrounding areas. Well, we're, all of those are going to be free with a membership. And the membership's like $30 a year for an individual, and 50 for a family, I think, and then a buck 50, 150 for a, a premium membership. So all of those events are going to be free. The Monday night college series will be the free combo, which is like about an $8 value, and mm -hmm. I think we had 16 of those. See. The Thursday night films will be free for all members, and we had about 12 of those last year. So we're trying to like really spread it out huge so that everyone can become a member of the theater and be a part of the, and I'm, I'm trying to memorize names. So some people that I don't see all the time, I'm going through the list of members and, um, you know, we want to make it really personal and, and fun for everybody to come to the theater and see what we're doing. Real quick uh, yep. question about the, uh, the photo that's up here mm -hmm. uh, right now, those seats in the balcony. Mm -hmm. um, they're very tight and uh, small. Right. Are we're you waiting. Changing? Yeah, we're we they're, we're going to do some alteration and not and try not to lose a lot of seats because as you know, seats translate into tickets and mm -hmm. tickets translate into dollars, and uh, so we're we're trying to find a, a medium there. We have uh, Jason Cavell is uh, scheduled to come and kind of design something for us to make sure mm -hmm. that we can pull that off. You know, rarely do we fill the balcony. Um, well, once this thing is all done, people will absolutely. be flocking. Right. And then the seats on the main level, you're going to lose some with the thrust stage. No. No? No. The, the thrust comes out to the end of the pit right now. The pit is currently open. And we've used the oh. orchestra pit this year. It was cool. Uh, Larry Sumner's band came in and played in the pit. Oh, wow. And it was like, oh, it would be so great. So now, actually, I'm happy that the pit we have that's coming in from Wenger, and they've got the design and they're paid, um, it's going to be removable. So if we have to have a pit, and when you remove it, it just goes flat down into the floor of the pit. Mm -hmm. And it's so cool. Uh, having a pit, you know, taking you right to 1930. Now, Paul is currently looking for and we're having a hard time finding an original cut of Iron Eagles. So he's been all over the planet searching for it via the internet. Iron Eagles was the, the movie they showed the first day. We have an original program, and I want to send a digital copy of that to you. And that really shows the colors of the inside of the theater. But when that theater opened, you know, it was a Butterfield Theater. You had like f probably 50 of them in Michigan. Yeah. And, They're in uh, every town. Everywhere. And uh, he had a, he cornered the market, you know. Mm -hmm. Had cable not come out, we'd still be, you know, yeah. ruling the world. But uh, <clears throat> so I looked at the staff. There was like 30 people on staff of the Michigan Theater on opening day. <laughs> it's the opening day program, the original. Yeah. Uh, and they had a guy named Jerry Ross. And he was like the vaudeville guy. So he was there day one, Jerry Ross. And then they also showed a film. So... As true to the nature of what we've been doing there, we still have films and we still have live entertainment. So we're we're gonna we're not gonna change that 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 thematic element. Boy, that'd be something if you could get Jerry Ross to come back. Yes, it would be something. <laughs> <laughs> Jerry Lazarus Ross. <laughs> Make your donation, be a member, help yeah. support this Jackson Jewel and Treasure. And then stop by and see this uh, what's yeah. going on, you know. We can't always go in there because of the hard hat rules right. and stuff like that. What's, but, what do you think is the completion? Uh, well, we're, we're looking at uh, May or June right now. Oh, okay. So we don't really know. Uh, as things progress, we get closer to you know making sure. That, so far, we've had no issues as far as uh, product backup or labor situation. So, uh, you know, if everything works out, you know, soon. Awesome. All right. Thanks so much for the update. Thanks, Thanks for having me. And as always, Bart, thank you for all that you do for this town. Thank you. Steve Tucker, Executive Director at the Michigan Theater.